Hey, good morning, guys. Tosh coming at you. It's uh, Saturday, April the 12th, and uh, just getting to start out in the garage. It's about 10:30 in the morning. Uh, I got to change the battery in that clock still. We'll do that today. Uh, the plan for today is to uh, go out and buy some more lights. As I'd mentioned in my previous video, this uh, garage needs some more lights. So I'm going to go and pick up uh, three more uh, fluorescents, four-foot uh, fluorescents. They're, I see they're on sale at my local uh, TSC store, which is the tractor supply company store, um, for I think 17 bucks for a four-footer. Um, so we'll go and grab those. I think the bulbs are 17 bucks as well. So. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll grab three of those lights for starters and uh, we'll do a little bit of uh, rewiring in here and move those, maybe those electrical boxes back in towards the center of the garage so we can uh, hook these lights up here. We'll probably do the same sort of, you know, one in the center and two on the sides uh, once I pick the other three lights up the, this morning. Anyway, I'll let you know how it goes when I get back. Hopefully they're in stock and uh, the drive won't be wasted. Talk to you later, guys. Beautiful day outside. Hey, guys, we're back. Um, Unfortunately, that trip to TSC didn't work out so well, um, as you saw from the video. Um, they were sold out. Um, pretty much impossible to get anybody to uh, check to see if they had more in the back for inventory, so I just walked out of the store pretty frustrated. So uh, there was a Home Depot on my way home, and uh, I did manage to uh, pick up some lights and some bulbs. Not exactly what I wanted, but um, they'll do the trick. The only difference really between... Uh, these and the uh, the TSC ones is that the TSC ones uh, had the uh, pull cord to turn them on and off, whereas these are basically on or off on the switch, and that's it. So it's a bit of a pain in the ass when you don't want to have uh, you know six fluorescent lights blazing away all the time. But um, I'll figure something out um, to get around that. Um, I also bought some um, T8 bulbs, uh, 32 watt bulbs. The bulbs alone were uh, 35 bucks for the 10 pack, which is not bad, considering that I think for two they're uh, almost 11 bucks. So I bought the 10 pack. Uh, so total on the bill for the three lights and the bulbs was 105 bucks. That's including tax. So anyway, those should do the trick. I'm going to uh, think about where I want to put them. I was thinking about putting some under the cabinets, actually, probably on the wall, facing out uh, towards the uh, center of the garage um, you know either hanging them on this back wall you know back wall straight out or I was thinking of mounting them under the cabinets um, straight down and then having them you know mounted on a piece of plywood or something and then just having them hinged so I could actually swing them down when I wanted to actually use them but uh, obviously that would be more work than uh, than just you know so I was screwing, screwing them to the wall so we'll think about that um, the best place probably for them would be up in the ceiling um, so anyway, we'll, we'll decide where we want to put them. I think I'm probably going to end up doing both anyway, putting some lights under here and some lights on the ceiling. So it um, doesn't really matter, I guess, what I decide to do today. I'm probably going to be in the market for more lights in the future. So that's it. We'll uh, give you an update later on. Um, probably put those lights up and we'll do some cleaning. And I've got to do a little bit of parts uh, finding. I've got some uh, guys looking for some TR6 parts. So I know I have them. It's just where I have them is the, uh, the issue. So I've got to find those. Uh, before the end of the weekend so that's on the list for today as well and we'll bring you back later so this is a bit of a daunting task this is my uh, storage shed in the backyard and it's got a lot of stuff in here so uh, I don't know how many bins of parts I have in here probably about a quarter of what I have down in the basement but uh, I couldn't find the uh, stuff I was looking for on top of the mezzanine in the garage so it's got to be out here I think in this uh, pile of parts out here so it uh, looks like we're gonna have to unpack the shed and I think we're gonna have to do it now because I think tomorrow is gonna rain all day and uh, a lot of the stuff I gotta move outside temporarily and then move it back in so yeah whenever I need to find anything it's uh, you know basically the same process move it all out and then move it all back in and hope it fits anyway we'll get back to you later well I guess sometimes you get lucky I was uh, hoping that um, what I was looking for was gonna be in this top bin you know the first bin I open Generally, my luck is it's the very last bin I look in, but uh, actually, I was just clearing away this uh, fiberglass and car covers and whatever, and lo and behold, that's what I'm looking for up there, hanging up nicely. And two of them, those are the uh, front uh, frame cross member on the Triumph TR6. I've got a guy that's looking for one, so we have got a couple there. You can take uh, whichever one he wants. Anyway, so that uh, worked out pretty well. So sometimes you do get lucky.
Evening guys, just Tesh coming back at you. It's uh, getting pretty close to, um, must be around 10, 15 or so. Just uh, watching the end of the race and uh, there's 12 laps left to go. Um, so spent the day out in the garage doing some more cleaning and organizing. It's uh, looking a little bit better. Uh, raining tonight outside but it's still pretty mild out as far as temperature is concerned. Did some more rearranging, uh, cleaned up on the mezzanine a little bit, uh, moved the compressors around a little bit, and moved the position of the uh, the engine hoist, blah, blah, blah. Um, <clears throat> worked a bit more on the toolboxes. I found those parts, as I mentioned. Installed those lights uh, along the wall. So we'll, uh, we'll give those a try and see how they work. So let me just go plug those suckers in. Get your sunglasses out. There we go. <clears throat> so those will help, for sure. Makes it a little brighter in here. So I'm happy with that. Like I said, another uh, another three or four lights probably, and I think we're good. But that's a good uh, a good starting point. So I'm happy with that. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll get back out here tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to rain, I think, for most of the day tomorrow. So it'll probably just be a inside the garage day. Um, not sure what I'll do. I did manage to get the car uncovered as you can see and uh, figure out where I left off. It actually looks pretty good. Um, I was uh, sanding guide coat when I left off so I can see where I've stopped sanding. Um, the hood and the trunk are still looking pretty uh, pretty good. They're pretty much ready to go nice and smooth. Um, wet sanded down to uh, 600 grit I think it was. Anyway I'd have to go back and, and look but uh, Anyway, you can still see some guide coat on the inside here, and I got all the fenders piled inside. But anyway, it's uncovered. It's uh, dusted off, uh, blown it off with some uh, compressed air, and uh, yeah, it's good to see it uh, uncovered again. So anyway, that's it for tonight. We'll get back out here tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Talk to you later.